say hello, good morning, welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. Yes! I look like a pirate. You know the one from Pirates of the Caribbean? What's his name? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. So, we are on our way. We're already nearly 25 minutes late. That makes me very mad. Very, very mad. But at least we're on our way. Yeah, we're last really cool. I had a 92% on my... Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, Surprise. you little liars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've just got here. She's only just realised that um, George and Tom were in the back of the car. <laughs> 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 I, I just got in. I started chatting with uh, Claire and everything, you know. <laughs> And, um, and it was only when we got out, and that last one, only when we got out, I, she said, you haven't noticed these two. Never the most observant person. <laughs> Babe, can you move the bottle? <laughs> You're determined not to look good. Oh, fuck it. Bloody Patrick's dead. We've had and I wanted to go back and see all that. We've had a week ago. Maybe two. Useless. Patrick Dolan, are they? I'm fine with it's something specially for ladies, but it's not round, it's triangular. Adds, 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 a, adds a bit of luxury to it. Because only, only ladies have that, you know. No. I don't I don't I things like that because we're sensible. Worry, that's not the case. <laughs> Get off it then. <laughs>
and then on the back it makes it so on the back it shows the the formation of the planes. I said buy a toy dragon, it's much better. Um, the short, the skinny bones. Yeah. 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 No more. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I've got fish, mushy peas, and skinny chips. It's all soft, so I should be able to eat it. And Sophie's got a mixed grill. Which, there. Churro Sunday each? Why not? She's not touched this box all day, people. And she's waited until we've given her the authorization this evening to do it. Carry on. Well, that was random. Well, I got a bit off, Mum. Oh my God, she just bulldozed her. <laughs> people I'm Alba and I'm on a mission. Yeah, we're going to go back for more. Yeah. So as you can tell from our last clip, we are home. And when I got home, I went and checked the mail. And there was this huge, huge parcel. It's not huge, huge, but it's huge. And on it, there's a special delivery. This means that it's supposed to be delivered to you by 1pm. And it's supposed to be signed for before it can be delivered. Now, we left at 10 o'clock this morning, and we got back, I think, at about 6, just before. So we had been out all day, which means the postman <clears throat> has signed for this special delivery and posted it. In it was the leftover medication that I was owed from the pharmacy at the hospital. So I've made another complaint to Royal Mail 
stating how their postmen are clearly still screwing up because if you remember right a few weeks back we were supposed to have fans delivered and it was like just under 20 quid and the bloke the postman took him to the delivery office and didn't tell us so nobody is then like owning up to what's going on and whatever else and we've also had multiple other things going wrong where like they're not leaving cards or they're doing something wrong but what concerns me of this one is the fact that it had medication in there I mean yes the postman didn't know that it had medication but if like it hadn't have been posted and it had gone walkie somewhere and I was to ring the hospital and say I've not received the medication that you owe me they can be like oh well we've got confirmation from the tracking that it's been delivered and it was signed for but I hadn't signed for it the postman did and how are we to know which postman it was with all the postmen that there are so I've emailed Royal Mail again to complain about their staff because the last time I complained about it with the fans they were just like yeah we'll we'll contact the delivery office and your local delivery office and let them know so they can have a word with their team clearly that isn't working so who knows maybe this time someone will say something I don't know but all I know is that it is not good that they're signing for mail that they shouldn't the only people that should be signing for that ma- the mail is the person who's on the envelope or like somebody else who lives in that house so like Soph the postman should not be signing for mail that's not theirs the next thing was there was a letter from my clinic appointment with immunology and to say we're pissed off is an understatement um they nick my jumper <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. where does it say oh well the first paragraph it turns around and said that the immunoglobulin replacement therapy was stopped at this point as there had been little evidence that ongoing treatment had reduced the frequency of the respiratory symptoms or her admissions to hospital well that was a proper silky silky not making actually yeah um I was in hospital September 2016 and the next time I was in hospital after that was two years later so work out how my frequency and admissions hadn't dropped considering I hadn't had an admission in two years. And you were having one, at least one one week long admission every month, basically. Yeah, pretty much. So they screwed that up. The next thing is, is that she has put that, I describe I have a raised temperature um, and the recordings of my temperatures I've made only consist of um, readings of 37 and 38 and I think of 38.5 and over and I just looked at Sophie and I was just like she clearly did not read the temperatures that I wrote down because I have had multiple multiple temperatures over 38.5 and she clearly has not seen that so she's documented that wrong as well the next thing is, is she said that I, she read a note from my chest consultant's letter of a growth of some bug um, and I had to withhold my prophylactic antibiotic um, and to be, to retest things. The bug that she's put, I didn't have to withhold my, as if for mycin for. She... Told, like said that I had some weird staff pseudo summer and the the reason why I was having to have my azithromycin, like my prophylactic antibug stopped was 
because I had grown non-tuberculosis microbacterium. So she's got the bug wrong. And then in the next sentence, she says, happily, she has had three negative sputum since June. So, after the non-tuberculosis microbacterium, I sent another sample. That one came back, I had nothing there, only um, like normal flora that's like in your saliva and your lungs anyway. The following three sputums that I have sent, which has been June, July, have all come back with, I think, two or three different bugs. So she's got that bit wrong as well, because she said I've had none when I've had three different bugs in each of them. Um, Then she's put... Mm -mm 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 -mm. she said that my from recent blood tests my immunoglobulin levels are all in a normal range when I looked at the screen and yes they were in normal range but they were literally right on the border of abnormal or like abnormally low so she should have mentioned that really not just stated that they're normal because they're pretty much not and it could fluctuate one week from the next one minute they could be below and then the next they might just be a little bit higher than like the normal um she said that my ct scan has improved from last time well i should hope so because that ct scan that she's documenting was a checkup ct scan to see whether the one that i had during my admission last august was um improved and the collapsed lungs had reinflated so actually i'm glad that it had improved because that's what we were looking for whereas she's put it as if to say well don't know what she's going on about there are ct scans even clear um and then obviously as a result of all of that she's put in this letter um she's put based on our current findings i think it is unlikely She'll meet the criteria to start immunoglobulin and, like, basically I'm not going to be getting it. Well, both Sophie and I have turned around and said, the chances are we're not going to end up getting the immunotherapy treatment because she's wrote two and a bit A4 pages and it's all utter crap. Like, none of it is what I said in clinic none of it is what i showed her in clinic and the the thing that's shit about it is that when i then saw my doctor on wednesday um i said what went on in clinic and it's now completely different to what she's wrote so it's going to make it look like i've talked shit oh and oh the, the other thing that is different as well is this one bug that she's put is similar to a bug that I got told I had on my clinic on Wednesday, which is why I then got treated. Um, so she's the, she's put this bug that in here that I got in June. Well, actually, the bug that she's talking about, I only grew in the sample I sent, I think it was the first week of August. So she's got the dates wrong there as well. Um, and obviously if she's saying I've got clear sputum samples, there's like no infections, then what is my lung consultant and my GP seeing for them to be arranging these appointments and ringing me on the phone to check up on me because I've got so many bad bugs growing in my lungs and they're wanting to see if the antibiotics that I'm on are actually working. And she's saying in one mouthful that you've got no bugs and then in the next mouthful she's saying that you've got bugs in your lungs. Yep. So... Like I said, it's going to screw things up between the the way I've communicated with my chest consultant. But not only that, the way she has screwed up so much in this letter, of course I'm not going to meet, meet the criteria for the immunotherapy because she's got it all wrong. If she had put the whole truth and whatever it is what I said in this letter, it sounds like I would have been like qualified immunotherapy yeah. treatment, but with her bullshitting... 
I'm not going to get it. And that really sucks because it's me that's suffering and me that's, like, not going to get rid of these um, infections. And we didn't stop immunotherapy last time because it was there was, like, no evidence of it working. We stopped to have a break because I was getting fed up with stabbing myself with free needles every week. And they told us that at that appointment that any time we wanted to go back on it, we just had to contact them, let them know, and we'll get straight back on it, which is why we ended up keeping all the equipment here to be able to just start it whenever we want. And now they're going back on that. It just... It all just seems a little bit screwed up, and they've clearly not documented proper, properly from what we discussed in clinic before. And it's just frustrating because my actual consultant that I see, or was seeing, and she's still there, was absolutely amazing. But this doctor that I saw, when I saw her two years ago, she was only a registrar, and she's now gone up to being a consultant. But she wasn't that good a registrar with me then. And it was my consultant then that put me on the treatment and said all this stuff. And it's just frustrating because she's just royally screwed up and now it's going to have like an impact on my health, which is really shit. And was really shit to come home to all this after a good day out. Yeah. It was not what we wanted at all. But it's not really a lot we can do about it. So we're going to continue with Heartland. It's only 8 o'clock and I'm bloody knackered. Me too. We went to Tesco's today and... Um, got some stuff for fake cinema tomorrow because we are literally just chillaxing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. These last few days since Wednesday it's been like well Tuesday shopping, Wednesday hospital appointment Thursday Zach's birthday Friday phone calls with the GP, phone calls with oxygen team the car oxygen coming out <laughs> then today obviously so it's Nanny's birthday we really need a break yeah it's just been too much and now i'm crashing i can yeah. feel it so we're gonna go up with that and we're gonna end it with thanks for coming on as davis and we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone good night